Huh? Yup. Yo guys, boys and girls, welcome to the underground house. I'm Kiralis and someone is in the background. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. yo Shishuma. Hey man. Welcome to the underground house. This is amazing. Thank you, bud. I really like this. <laughs> it is big. This is my zoo. And I was just part of it. <laughs> yeah, you were part of the zoo. You got you got yourself a wild Asuma. Wild Asuma. <laughs> I'm not really sure if I should add more stuff here. It's like crowded already. It is pretty crowded. We should uh, we should probably go somewhere else. We should, <laughs> we should kill him. No, but the plan is today, Jishima, you're going to help me build some breeding cells, right? Yes, we're going to build some cabs, compact animal breeders. Cabs. Are they called cabs? Cabs. Compact animal B. breeders. <laughs> I can't pronounce it very well. Cabs. Cabs, yeah. All right, so I'll prepare the area up here for you. Excellent. And this video should take about 20 minutes, so... Take it slowly. <laughs> Take it slowly, bud. Okay, these things are so simple to build, so uh, you don't need a lot of materials or anything. I'm just um, gonna carve it out. How much space do we need? We need three by three, right? Yeah, they're three by three. Um, we should probably get like a nice sort of level with the floor, so you can walk in here and see what's going on. Um, what materials do you want to build them out of? We could just use like uh, iron. Iron? Yeah, I love building out of iron. <laughs> iron is epic. It's like a machine block. Yes. It is very nice and clean. It looks good with redstone on it as well. And it looks awesome in this texture pack as well, in the Sortex texture pack. So we should also have um, like a way to walk down to them because mm -hmm. they're going to be a little lower down in the ground. So maybe we could put some steps in or yeah. let's have a look. Let me just see because we're going to have two just next to each other. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to make this room slightly bigger. So if we, have them, if we have them where they are now, let me just plop down like a like this is going to be the top of them something like that all right so we're gonna have two of those so when you walk in if they're just a little further back and you can walk down there's some space around them i think that'll look really nice that would look awesome and i think we should actually have it one block back from there i can extend this room back a bit so i'm just carving out oh man so much sand do you know the command how to stop the sand of falling down? That's like a command. Um, I didn't know there was one. Um, would that be like a mod command or a legit yeah, yeah, command? Yeah, I don't know if there's a mod command actually. Like for the gravity of sand, it disables that. I've No, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Sorry, I keep moving this back. I'm just... Uh, Take your time. Take trying your time. To get, trying to get the ideal location. So when you walk in here, there's a nice amount of space around it. I'm going to just be still and observe so maybe we come down to this level here is it okay to remove more of this wall oh uh, not that bit not that bit i guess but we can totally f let me that, see that should be okay actually because the floor yeah the floor would be there and then you can put a wall on the side yep and then here we are going to need some more iron oh i'm, I'm watching all right so basically what you've done like that is a star with a hole in the middle yeah i've I've kind of we'll build the second one um block by block so it's more obvious what we're doing but this one we're going to put some iron bars in the middle uh we also want a piston in here to push any items that get caught on the iron bar so this is this is the same stuff which i got stuck on in the hermitcraft video right yes it is <laughs> it is it that is was epic that moment i died and then yeah you threw the ender pearl and <laughs> died it all went wrong I always die. So oh, I'm no. gonna need a dispenser on the side. Mm -hmm. that there. Um, we need to power that twice. Let me see. So one from down here. Power it like that. Um, I'll show you why. I just put a bucket of water in there. All right. So if you use this lever at the top, and see what happens to the water when you use it. All right. I'm pushing it. Okay. Then hit it again. And it doesn't go away, does it? Nope. Okay, so if you hit it again and then again, see, so you have to use it twice every All right, time. So basically oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, buddy. There we go. Right, it's back in there. So yep. now I take that out for a second, put a lever down here and power it, and then put the bucket back in. 
See what happens when you you uh, yeah. <laughs> when I press, all right, so it disappears. Yeah, it works. What you only have to hit the lever once now. Cool. So that is very convenient. That is awesome. So we're gonna have two of these side by side. Uh huh. And we want a ladder in the middle. I can That's I can hook you up, Dad. I can hook you up. That's okay. I got it now. All right. So we do a ladder like that. You can walk up here, and then you've got one on either side, and you can hit the switch to use it. And All then you can right. pop back down below, and then hit them from down here as well. Uh, but we also need to do some redstone for this piston. I'm trying to remember how I had it wired up. We got a button there. Oh, I'm getting a bit of lag. This is kind of advanced for me, buddy. <laughs> it's not, trust. Very simple. Going to have a... Yeah, one of those there, then a block above it, and then another torch. So the one below is turning off the one above. All right. So the piston's off, but when that one turns on, it's going to activate the piston. So you're just trans transferring the signal up to the piston from below with the button. Let me see. Let me press. All right. So you push. This is pushing the items, right? Yeah. If you wanted to, we could actually do it slightly differently and make that a sticky piston. Then you could have like a block of your own choice in front of it, so you get a different texture. Like if you think it would look better. Nah, that's mirror. Okay. That cool. looks. That looks alright. Like we'll this texture like pack, it looks awesome. So I don't mind. So we're doing one more just next to it. I'm gonna purify it once we are done. Okay. Cool. So I'm not gonna touch anything now. Alright, so we've got to do the wiring back here again. Actually, we'll, we'll mirror it and make it on the opposite side. Mm hmm. So basically, we will have pigs in one and cows in the other one, I guess. We That'll could... work. It doesn't work with chickens. It doesn't? No, unfortunately not. Hmm. It's because they're too small, they can fit through the iron bars. Oh, yeah, I see. And then we need iron bars here and a dispenser. Oh, can't. This is so right. much faster than survival. You can build it very fast <laughs> in survival as well. If you, can, you, yeah, you can. If you know how, you can literally do it in 30 seconds. If you know. Oh, we should put the dispenser on the other side so it's. So it looks. Yeah, it oh, looks yeah. As symmetrical. There we go. Much better. That's what I'm talking about. Epic. Right, and then we need one more lever on the back, and then another bucket of water. Put that in there. So these are now ready to go, I think. Let me see. Oh, I forgot on a button. There we go. <laughs> Let me just change that lever to that side here. Just turn it around so it looks symmetrical to that other side. Oh, it doesn't. Why does it turn? There you go. There we go. All right, so basically we are done. Let me just see. It does. This works. This works. Dude, yep. this is epic. So. Let's spawn some animals, like pigs. So what did you want? Pigs and cows? I'm putting in pigs in this one. I'm going to put cows in the other one. There we go. I'm just going to push push them in. Near the zoo. So once we want to breed them, we just press this. That will push them up a bit. Yeah, now they're, now they're oh, all bobbing up and down. When so you right-click with wheat, it's going to be a different pig every time. So it's really easy to breed them all quickly. That is so convenient. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, buddy. Look at him. Oh, it's not working. How strange. <laughs> Let's try it on this one. I can see him. There they're, you go. They're bumping up and down. On both. I don't see any love hearts for the pigs. Do you see love hearts for them? No. Okay, that's let me, strange. Let me just pick up some wheat. But I see them for the cows, that there's XP coming out of it as well. Oh, of course. It's because they use carrots now. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Or potatoes. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what one. Yeah, wheat for the cows, and then you got different ones for the others. This is so epic. So yeah, you get XP for breeding them. Um, then that's it. You hit the switch, and then you could take a sword and hit them from below, and then collect all of the drops. Let's do that quickly. Yeah. So you'd want like a... Um, I wouldn't use a fire aspect sword, because it cooks the meat, and you could get XP for that if you had some furnaces. So I would just use like a, a sharpness 5 sword. Shardens 5 sword, alright. But yeah, some of the um, some of the drops are going to land on the iron bars. So that's why you've got the piston, and it'll push them over the edge. If I throw some items um, down here, one second. Mm -hmm. right, so hopefully some of those will get caught yeah, on iron I can bars. See some. 
Oh. Right, if you press press the button, it yep. pushes them off the edge. Get like that. This is this is so nice. It's cool, isn't it? It is cool, and it's pretty simple. It is very very simple. It's it's amazing because we used to spend like you know loads of redstone and resources building these massive machines to rotate them with mine carts and all that kind of stuff. And then it turned out you could just build something with as little resources as this. <laughs> it works the same. Yeah, it all revolves around making them jump up and down in the water. It just makes it easy to breed them. This is so nice. Let me just purify the area a bit. I think it needs um needs a bit of like hmm, a bit more interrogation into its surroundings. Yeah, I think so. But we're gonna work on that. Don't I'm worry. gonna try and build Corella style around here. Corella style <laughs> bushes. Play some bushes and you're set, buddy. Damn, I like this. I was just wondering because let me see. Can we place? I'm gonna destroy that. Can we just? I'm, I'm kind of destroying stuff for you now, but don't worry. All right, it's fine. I got it covered. You can rebuild it, however you like. I'm just trying to build your style. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do a very good job. Of course you will. Don't worry, buddy. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we were, we were actually thinking about making this a cooker, but. It kinda, kinda doesn't didn't really work. Well, it works, but it will kill all the animals. Yeah, that's that's the unfortunate problem. Um, you can put a dispenser on the other side of the one with the water, and you can put a button on it so that it dispenses the lava, then retracts it, and it does it perfectly. It like hurts the animals, then they die, and it doesn't destroy all of the drops of the lava. Oh, I see. That is really nice. Hey, do you know what I think would look good up the top here if these iron blocks were, were glass? Oh. That would work. I think that'd look cool. Oh, this is this, this is gonna be nice. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. This. So what was it we were saying about the lava? Um, yeah. yeah. The other thing is that if you cook them with lava, you don't get to cook the meat and get more experience points from it. Nope. Neither that. And if you kill them, you kill them. And then you won't have any more animals on survival, which would pretty that's much suck. So. So I guess that's the downside of it. Oh, purification in progress. Yeah, I'm just putting some more wood down around the back here. I think it looks better like that. You now what? We need some... Let's do the chest area, I guess. Right, I'm going to hope the animals don't escape while I do this. That is cool. We can kill them. Oh, they're, they're staying put. <laughs> and now that one there has to stay because it's got a lever on it. I wouldn't worry about it. I actually like this. Do you like this with glass up here? Let me see. Oh yeah. I like Maybe the way we you can could... see the pistons and the redstone underneath. Maybe we could remove this one, so we can just get close to the bottom. All right, on both yeah. sides. As you move Maybe. the one in the middle, if you want to pop down here as well. Yeah, that makes sense. And I'm gonna do the same here on this side. And there we go. Damn, buddy. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna place a trapdoor. Purification. Not needed, but it still looks cool. There we go. This is cool. this is looking epic. In this texture pack as well. I'm just I'm down here. Thanks for the help, bud. No problem, man. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm always, not... like I'm always afraid of doing stuff like this because I'm always can fail, so it feels like the redstone and stuff. Yeah. Well I think I think you'd be a good redstoner because you like with building, you know that you've got to keep going. If something doesn't look right, then you take it apart and do it again, right? That's true. So that's like, that is what it's like with redstone. Oh, that's a great idea because you want to cook the meat, have some furnaces around. Yeah, but yeah, that's what it's like with redstone. If it doesn't work, you just got to take it apart and try again, you know? Yeah, I can totally agree with you, but still, like, I mean. I have no clue. Like I'm looking, you know. Usually when I download like a custom map, like the Sonic map, and you just yeah. just look on on all the redstone underneath, it's just like, come on. Yeah, but that's because you're you're just seeing a mess of wires. You know, the more used to redstone you get, you can see those wires and realize what they're doing and what they mean. And then it's like, oh, I see what you did there. You know. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Like I mean, some of that stuff will blow my mind as well. <laughs> But um, there's some of it that you can kind of break down and see what it's doing. Right, I'm trying to do some nice... Oh, you're doing, doing Corella style. 
I'm trying. I'm trying my very best. I'm kind of imitating <laughs> what it you have over this awesome. side. Looks awesome. Don't worry, buddy. You got it. You got it. I think I think the ceiling needs like smooth sandstone blocks. Smooth sandstone or wood. It all depends. Maybe like. Oh, we like can maybe make some patterns. Yeah, like a cross. I was thinking. Like from each corner. Oh, there goes. The sand falls down slowly for me on your server. Does it? Oh, you're going to have a few holes of sand in your desert by the looks of it. <laughs> that, that is totally fine. We can just fill it in. No worries whatsoever. Damn, they're making so much sound. I was thinking about putting bedrooms next to this, but that, that's not no, going to work. can't do that. Too noisy. <laughs> Too noisy. For sure. There we go. Look at this place. This looks cool. What we could do as well, let me just see here. We need some lighting somewhere, don't we? Yeah, we're gonna have some lighting, but I'm just gonna take this out by one more block. And then I'm maybe we should actually put on, put in half. Let me just see, is this cross going from that door? No, it's not. So I'm just gonna make that two width, maybe. And the same all around, and take this all the way and use sandstone slabs or stairs, slabs. You yes. can put some lights in there as well. Yep. This is gonna get look alright. Oh, getting attacked. By what? Oh, yeah, By sand. falling sand, yeah. <laughs> alright. Man, it's so strange. The sand, like, falls really slow. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because my connection is so crappy. <laughs> Craptastic. No. Must be that. Like is this what you were gonna do? Like slabs like that? Yeah, that's gonna totally work. Like, and then the light kind of sticks out a little bit, which yep. is cool. Oh, but then you got the lighting glitch. So you have to remove the blocks above. <laughs> I can't, the lighting glitch kind of sucks, to be honest. <laughs> it like, sucks I've, big time. I thought they fixed that in this uh, this patch, but they didn't. They they fixed it in one of them, and then they ended up breaking more than they fixed, and they had to go back to what they had before. Are you right, dude? Yeah, I think most of the desert is going to fall down with this. <laughs> that is cool. Don't it's worry. like right at the height where the sand starts. Don't you worry about it. Need some like mass block removal. Oh yeah, so basically if you remove the block above, it won't give you the lighting glitch, right? Yeah, to a degree. Um, I think you need some light sources up there as well. It's strange how it all works. Damn. Oh, I forgot to uh, power the, the lamp. Oh yeah, I can totally see it. It's pretty groovy. It looks pretty groovy. It's not centered though. I think we should have maybe two of these. Yep. And let me see. There's... Look at this man. You just get going, don't you? You're just flying around making the ceiling really quickly. And there I was struggling <laughs> to make this little corner. Which, which? All right. Uh, I, oh, you mean that? Don't worry, buddy. You will get there. I I'm like. Not I like. <laughs> Wait, but you're a great, great redstoner. That's for sure. I hope so. <laughs> Look at this. This is my peephole for the zoo. So I can just Ooh, inspect, spy, on spy, <laughs> on my, uh, spy my peeps down there. Yeah, I'm thinking because let me see. If we walk in here, that is the door is here. Then we will hit this wall. Or maybe just use sandstone here. And on this side, the door is here. It looks symmetrical to me. No, it doesn't actually. That should be not sand. Oh my god. Let me see. Delete that. What are you doing, Shushima? I am just improving the look of the uh, animal breeders slightly. All right. So, how do you fancy building creative? I do like it. It's something you got to get used to. I think, like. Oh, just the amount of freedom is weird, you know? <laughs> yeah. You don't have to, like, go and look in your chest to see what you got and what you need to go get. It's just all there for you. It's just Ah, oh, no, I failed. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, yeah, I let the pigs out. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Who let the pigs out? Oh, my God, there's so many down there. I really thought you was going to say, who, 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 who. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if uh, half the audience know what that is. <laughs> of course they do, buddy. Oh no! How, how, how old is that song? It's not that old. I've got to say, I think it's like maybe eight years old. 
Damn, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> old. Horrible, horrible oh, feel. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right, so now the floor's made out of wood. That looks a lot better, I think. And oh, down yeah, there. it does. Still got a nice amount of iron. I think... Does this block the floor? Yeah, it is. Leave oh, that there. The sound. Sound of animals. They make a lot of noise, don't they? Yep. Did it? Did they actually fix the chicken lag, by the way? Chicken uh, and water lag. Is that fixed? No, it isn't. But here's hmm. the thing. Um, they're not in water most of the time. It's only when you're breeding them. Oh. And because you're going to be next to them when you're breeding them, you don't have to worry about that. Because it's when you move 16 blocks away from a mob in water that the game unloads the sounds of them being in the water. So mm -hmm. it creates lag. Um, but because you're right next to it, it doesn't cause that. And then when you go away, they're not in water, so it's fine. This looks really cool. I'm just going to kind of fix that lighting issue. The only thing is that it's not centered. That's the only thing. Maybe we should actually move it. Where did you go? All oh, right, you're right there. Like if that light would come here instead, that would mean we should delete like tons of material. But that would mean it would would be centered. Might oh, I see. Yeah, it's over to better. one side. So let me see if I delete those. Hmm. This wall is too close, isn't it, to this? Yeah, it's just because this entrance has more space just because I wanted to make a path going through this room later why on. Don't, why don't we put the... Oh, you're gonna... Okay. Um, why don't we put the light lamps around these, so that'll go like there. And then this... Yeah, like that. And then build the trim of wood around those. So I like it. I like the idea. Oh look, it even meets up with these ones that are closer. Mm. Or you might want to make those actually half slabs, I'm not sure. Yeah, but that, that will give us the lighting bug or glitch. It's true, yeah. I just, just make it like this, let me just see. That kind of works. Then we can kind of delete that. Oh! That is unbelievably strange. What? When I place these sandstone blocks, I get double half slabs. Do you see that? Oh. What's this block that I'm going to place on the ground look like? A double stone slab. I've got a sandstone block in my inventory. <laughs> oh. Okay, I replaced it. It works now. That is so yeah, strange. That is damn strange. Like, one thing which I usually pick up is the... Is the the stone egg like the the silverfish uh, block? It's so damn annoying that it's oh, like look. in the inventory. What you doing? There it is again. I don't know. It just keeps giving me the wrong block. It's this weird server. Oh no! Sorry. <laughs> what am I doing? It's my weird server. I'm lagging. I think that's the problem. So now we got to turn these lights on. Oh, we're we making it all wood. Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay. Let me try it out at least. See how it looks. Okay, I'm going to go put much these better. on top of these. So let me see, there's the entrance, so this will be... How far Ow. away? Oh dude, watch out, be careful. I'm okay. Oh, you won't die anyway. They can't hurt me, <laughs> yeah. So do not, do not worry. It's so damn hard to see, it's so cramped in here. It is a little cramped, but I think... I think that looks good. It's noisy. <laughs> <laughs> it is noisy. I think we got this. It's like filling this up. Look at you, master builder. <laughs> Shishima. I'm just fixing the lights. <laughs> there we go. Bam. Still alright, those two. I hardly never use the lights, I don't know why. I just use glowstone for some stupid reason. I, I don't really like the texture of glowstone a lot. I really like the redstone lamps, so I always use those. Oh look, this one's gone off again. What's up with that? There we go. Might be me screwing stuff up here. It's looking good. Just it one more left good. to do. <laughs> Let's see. 
Oh, let's do something uh, my style for the uh, for the last wall here. Oh, by Shishuma style. Yeah, Shishuma style. <laughs> let's do that. Let's get ourselves some some of these stairs. Uh, let, you let me do this wall. I've got something cool for you. Uh, right. Actually, no, we'll leave it like that. We can still do this. It might not look quite the same. Okay, yep, yep, yep. S sort out the ceiling. And then when I go in here and remove these three blocks. Mm hmm. And then that. put. Right, we're going to need some glowstone. And let's use iron, although iron might not look too good, but we'll see. Just I'm inspecting you. And some of that. Right. So put glowstone. Oh, no. Glowstone at the bottom. Then iron all around. Like. Mm hmm. Ow. <laughs> I'm going to help you. Uh, I'm stuck. Oh, there, there we go. go. All right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, so the iron goes down like this. And then. I can just get out of there. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, that looks lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> that is Fushima style. That is right there. That looks really cool. Yeah, using water for uh, a texture is really nice. Oh, and I got sand on me again. <laughs> no, we're definitely keeping that. That looks awesome. I'm going to help you. On this side, I guess. Let me see. Where's the... And it's a light source, too. Yeah, it is, right? Yep. It doesn't emit a lot, but it makes a difference. How come cocoa beans emit light? Ooh. I'm like... They kind of admit... It's like a bedroom lamp or a bed lamp. Um, they look cool with street lights. Coconut? Yeah, the, um, or, uh, the jungle tree thing. Yeah. Like, it's if you have them on a street outside and make them into little lamps, they look cool. This yeah, looks awesome, looks buddy. <laughs> that fits in perfectly, doesn't it? I like it. Oh, that works. Purifying. Like Maybe this, in, Oh, no, you can't. Look, no, this will look crap. It kind of blocks your nice finger wings. We like it. I like it. And look at that. Just coming down here. We got this settled. Everything is pretty. Looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> we fixed it. We have purified it. I'm just gonna move. I'm gonna actually make a hole here. Make this a double door later on. Hopefully that will be a door in the future. We don't know. We never know what this will be. There we go. Oh, some wood. That is not wood. That is wood. There we go, buddy. I I think that's complete. Anything <laughs> 100%. else? No, I'm looking around and I can't think of anything else here. I'll tell you what you do need to get, though. A nice enchanted sword that has sharpness 5 on, so you can kill these really quickly. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put some for the for the survival map when it's up for download. So they awesome. get some swords. I'm just thinking, what can we do with lamps? I'm happy with them as they are, actually, but... Can um, we do something more with them? Hmm. I guess we can't. You could put a glass block uh, where the lamp is and then have the lamp one block higher. Or maybe... I don't know if this would look any good. Let me just try something. Yep. And put some things in my inventory. So... How does this look if you have... Does that look good? That looks alright. Let's pop down and have a look. Can alright. Hmm. I'm not too keen. <laughs> What if we put... Glasses a little better. What if we put st st stairs around them? Let me just see. Oh, i got another good one. Actually, this is going to cause problems. Uh, I'll do this over here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Where is the lamp in the inventory? Lamp, come on. No lamp. There is. There is the lamp. What you use as power source? You use a lever. A lever. All right. I did not know they could do that. 
Oh my god, there we go. How does this look? What you doing? Oh. How's that? That is cool. Does that, got, that does that light, emit light? Yeah, the light goes through it as well. That is top secret. <laughs> oh, that is so much better. There you go. <laughs> what? Nice. I like that a lot. We can have two of each, buddy. We have four lamps. Well, we could we could make the lamps pistons and have the detail around it as well. Hey, that could look really cool because you've got the uh, the piston head sticking out. Mm -hmm. Let's give that a go quickly. Now, where's the old lamp gone? Oops, sorry. Oh, you got the lighting glitches, but that... You can kind of see what's up there. If you were to if change we, the material... Oh, that looks it, that awesome. Look, yeah, yeah, that's a really um, cool ceiling light right there. Let's, yeah, let's go and clear all of this. Sand. Poor old desert's being destroyed. Dad, we can fill it up, don't worry. Um, what would look good? Maybe more pistons. Let me try that. Uh, and they're transparent. Oh, and there's something above me. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's alright. Oh, yeah, you mean like that? That would look totally badass. Let me just go down. You drop down. You teleport me to you. This looks awesome. This that looks, looks great. really cool, man. <laughs> you don't need the ones in the corners, but yeah, you can just see the stone up there. That's a keeper, so that's what I'm gonna do. I think I think it might look better with glowstone. I just want to try that quickly. Um, we don't need the ones in the corner as well. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. I think I destroyed something then. That is cool. Don't worry. Where is the glowstone? There it is. Oh my god, the sound they're making in animals. <laughs> Goes, drives you mad, doesn't it? Oh, that looks really cool, because you can just see a little bit of glowstone up there now, and it's kind of brighter as well. That's a keeper, buddy. That's yeah, what that I'm going to do. Good, That's what I'm going to do. Damn, oh, nice. this looks really nice, bud. That is seriously epic right there. That's a keeper. Yeah, man. <laughs> we are done. Is there anything when, when, else? When we, we can... when we started this, I did not expect it to look so good in here. <laughs> Still see. Totally didn't expect that. Oh no, we can't have that there. Epic room. Room Indeed. of epicness. Let me just put some bushes down. Bushes. More bushes. <laughs> More bushes. Bushes always every day. I'm kind of sad that I'm missing Minecon, to be honest, but hell. I'm building with Shishuma. <laughs> yeah. Although Minecon's over now, technically, I think. Yeah, it is. I think it's the last day today, right? Yeah, yeah, Sunday. They, um, I think they finished quite early. They finished at like 4 o'clock or something. Did you watch the live stream? Yeah, I did some of it. It was yeah, pretty I cool. Yeah, I watched a bit of it as well. Nah, let's just keep it. I think we're just going to stop with this, because otherwise we will just... Yeah, it's, add stuff. It's reached its conclusion, hasn't it? It's yep. Pretty nice. it, it is working. We got this coming up on each direction. We got the pigs. We got the cows. And we're damn happy. This is pretty cool. It is. I like how it just... Oh. <laughs> that looks quite funny. Yeah. Look at them. The, the jumping around. They're having fun. I love this. I absolutely love this. Oh, you're down there now. I'm one of them. You're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put you in the zoo. <laughs> oh. Look at that, the black sheep is jumping. Oh, let me just look from the outside. And this looks pretty fancy. Who would have known? Looks great. <laughs> Dude, this place is getting huge. So Shishima, thank you for Perhaps. joining me and helping me out. No problem, man. I had a really good time. This was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, thank you for coming by. And guys, check out Shishuma's channel. Link in the description. Shishuma is an epic redstoner, which is a skill which I lack. I miss that skill. That's not my thing. Well, you're the master builder. I'm the redstoner. Together, we make a good team. Yeah, look at this. We purified this area in no time. Well, it kind of took some time though, but yeah. There's, there's something wrong here. <laughs> What's with this block? 
There we go. Hey, fixed. <laughs> fixed. <laughs> See, you Finished. see stuff. We are done. Thank you for watching, guys. And Yushima, thank you for coming by once more. And anything else you want to say, Shushima? Oh, no, no, that's it. That's Sorry, it? I thought you were done recording. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still recording. All right, take care and bye-bye. <laughs>